Gary Johnson then pre Northampton away. Oh, Gary, how much of a game changer is Tuesday's win in terms of what you can ask from the players and expect of them going forwards? We well, you'd hope that it's a massive game changer. You know, as far as the uh, mentality of the group, uh, confidence of the group. You all right? <laughs> and uh, the whole the whole skaboodle really was. You know, all of a sudden, the, the players love the fans, the fans love the players. Um, and that's the atmosphere that you can win football matches in. Um, you know, once you know that both sides are uh, fighting for each other, then you can become a pretty big force. And sometimes it needs a game like that to, to get that going. And I know we haven't got a lot of games to, uh, to get it going, but um, better late than, than never. And what's the secret now to getting back-to-back -back performances and doing it on the road? Yeah, it is. The back-to-back -back performances becomes really important. I was, I was really pleased last night, and I did do a lap in my living room listening to Burton and Carlisle because, funny enough, I also think Carlisle in it, are in it now. Um, I know they drew, which was they nearly won, and that would have been them. Sort of, we'd have had to have won three games to bring Carlisle back in it. But um, the draw with Burton scoring in the 97th minute or something after missing a penalty means that actually two wins, as long as Carlisle lose their next three, which they'd have to, then uh, that's another club that you're still, still chasing, actually. Um, they've got some difficult games. So um, it's, it's one of them, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, you've got to have hope in your own group and... Tuesday night gave us hope in our group. They put a game together that, is, that I recognised, and that's the, the big thing for me. And individuals affected the game. And when individuals affect the game in a team shape, you can demoralise the opposition. And, and you know, with all due respect to Cambridge, that's what I thought we did. We did it, a crowd did it, and our players did it. And now if the players have got a little bit more belief, maybe, from getting a win, can you demand a bit more of them? Well, yeah, I'm always going to be demanding, they know that. Um, you know, I'm happy to give them a little kiss on the top of their bald heads sometimes if they've done well. Um, but I'm also you know, going to get into them if they do drop below any sort of standard. The standard they've set is high from Tuesday night, um, but it doesn't stop you keeping more passes, keeping possession a bit more. It doesn't stop you putting in more chances. It doesn't stop you being braver, being stronger. Um, but we're going in the right direction and uh, that's the least now we should expect from the team uh, and certainly individuals. So uh, that puts you in a decent place. Northampton obviously still with what, a, faint, a faint outside hope of reaching the playoffs. I suppose they need to win, pressure on them. Is that a good thing for Cheltenham? Yeah, I think it can be. Um, it, it, it'll depend on how convincing their management has been with the players that they've still got that outside chance. I mean, when you've got an outside chance, of course, you're still in it and, and everyone should be in the zone and concentrating. But, um, you know, some... Some players are on holiday already in, in, in their heads, I'm sure, all over the country. All those that are not playing for much. And, uh, you know, we're playing for a massive, massive prize, and that is to stay in the division. So it's whether, you know, our, um, our hopes are greater and our needs are greater. Obviously, you were manager there four years ago. What sort of reception are you expecting going back? I, I never know actually, um, because you know sometimes you read websites and some people hate you whether you're top of the league or you know it doesn't matter. But uh, that's people. But um, I pretty much enjoyed my time there. It was a it was a big job. Um, I think the chairman does a fantastic job there, uh, David Cardoza, and I got on well with him uh, and the board. And uh, we tried very hard to uh, change the changed the group. The group was in a bit of a losing mode at the time and uh, when I went there and, and we ended up staying in the division because it was we were two or three games to go because that group were on a pretty much a losing run um, and 
you know, an anything I needed, what we needed, uh, that the chairman came up with, and uh, he was very supportive. So I've only got good thoughts about Northampton from my time there. Um, it's just that the, the next few managers as well didn't quite do it, and I really want Northampton to to move up, move on because I think uh, David Cardozo, the chairman, deserves it for the uh, for the work that he puts in. Just not this Saturday, I'm sure. I mean, are there similarities though in terms of how Cheltenham were when you came in here and, and how Northampton were? Yeah, there are, there are similarities, but I mean, obviously, I had a lot more games at uh, at Northampton. It was sort of like middle middle-ish of the season. I'm not quite sure how many. Um, and there was a, a lot of players there that were on that were not quite doing the job, but were on pretty long contracts. And then we had to try and get players in, and some produced it, and some didn't. But anyway, they uh, they stayed in the division at that time. You know, everybody was happy that that happened. Um, but Northampton, I know as a club and as a chairman, they they want to do a little bit more, and so should every club have that ambition. So it's uh, you know it's one of those things that. Uh, it was another club of mine that I, I didn't have any problems with, and I, I don't normally walk away from uh, too many clubs with uh, uh, feeling bad about a chairman or a football club. You know, I, I give my best. I know they generally give their best to me, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Looking at your squad, um, how are Lee Bourne and, and Joe Hanks? Because obviously, you know, one missed Tuesday night, and, and the other got injured during it. Yeah, I think I think Joe will be all right. I think um, Joe has got over his illness. I think uh, Vaughan will struggle a little bit. Um, we'll wait and see, but I'm pretty sure that anything with a hamstring is, is generally weeks rather than days. Um, but we know Pharrell Berry can come in. He came in and did a good job. Um, and we were still solid and we were still potent from that position. So, uh, you know, it's... Again, as we say, it's Darrell's opportunity now to uh, have a little bit of a run in the team. Didn't quite have a full bench on Tuesday night. Gloucester City, you had a couple of lads out there on loan. Obviously, they've now secured their safety. W would you think of recalling the likes of Harry Williams and uh, Young Bowen? Yeah, I think I was going to have a chat with the staff today because they know them well. Obviously, Russell knows that group of uh, lads really well. And, uh, you know, it's early when we do this interview, so... The, this morning I'll have a chat with them and see if we need to bring any back. Jamal's the same, you know, he's, uh, where's he at, Cleve or something? Um, and I think, you know, so we're, we're, we'll have a chat about that. So it's something that we'll, I'll let you know tomorrow, but certainly we're thinking about um, that scenario. Have you got anyone else coming back into, into the reckoning or is the treatment table still as pretty much as it was? No, it's pretty much as it was because... Uh, you know, they, they were pretty big injuries that they all got. Obviously, Jordan's out for the season, probably. Um, we've got... Uh, you know, Will Packwood has probably started thinking now about... I'm not sure whether he's started yet, our physio. Wes O'Hill, he'll, he'll tell us how things are going there. Um, and and maybe Wes is not going to be too far away. I don't think he, he'll be available for the next couple of games, but uh, certainly him and Will will probably... Um, you know, be joining us again before the end of the season. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, I mean, really sort of rousing performance on, on home turf. How can you go about putting that into action away from home? Well, you, you, you've got to get the lads into a mental state. That it, it doesn't matter whether they're on a park pitch or Wembley. You know, whether they're in their back garden or someone else's back garden. They, you know, they've got to go and perform. And, uh, and they showed that. They showed... No inhibition is the other night, you know, and and, and the, the supporters recognise that. We recognise it. Anyone can, you recognise that, and uh, and that's what we call being up for it, being in the zone, putting in that beyond the call of duty effort. And um, I thought the supporters, you know, there was what was there, two and a half thousand there, but when two and a half thousand people make a noise, it's like ten thousand people, and when that's a positive support like it was unbelievable because even no one was even moaning about mistakes or missed shots or you know everybody was 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 a real positive mood and and then it can be like ten thousand so i'm sure if we get i don't know 500 or so go go up to northampton i'm sure there, there'll be a few 
um, and they can, you know, give that support that they gave us at home, will be a quarter of them, then uh, again, you know, we'll be stronger for it because players are only human and they've got someone on their backs every time they make a mistake. And at this level, unfortunately, players are going to make mistakes. Um, then they just go into their shell a bit. But if, you know, if people are saying, look, come on, we're with you, give it a go, and, and then see how it is after 90 minutes, they can make a massive effect. They'll give us a, um, a massive boost with that positive support. Now, you know, listen, I, I can only put it out there and say that's human nature because we all know that if you're all work, if somebody's behind you now saying what a stupid question, <laughs> and uh, you know, should you be wearing that today? And you know, and then you're trying to interview, you don't interview in the same sort of way, if you know what I mean. It's the same as if somebody's behind me giving me a stick on, in, in games, which I'm pleased to say no, nobody has done yet. Um, so if somebody's positive though, then you're in a positive attitude, you've got a smile on your face like you have, um, and everything's a lot more more aggressive in, not aggressive, it's an aggressive in a happy sort of way. You want to do well for somebody. It's that intent, positive yeah, intent. Yeah, it is. And it's wanting to do well for somebody. 